I'm Riku Ida. I recently moved into a pet-friendly apartment. I'm Ida. I just moved here. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Yanagi. You got cats? Sorry, I didn't know you were about to feed them. I'll go now. <laughs> Sorry. They always get like this when they're hungry. Got any pets? Not yet, but I really want a cat someday. That's why I moved here, so... <laughs> Sounds good. Good luck! Thank you. Most people living here have pets. I can't wait to get my own cat. Ever since I was a kid, I had a thing for cats. I always wanted one, but my mom was allergic, so... Some of my friends had cats, so I always hung out with them and played with their cats. You should just get a cat if you love them so much. Oh, I see. You can do your own laundry? I guess you really like cats. You're still in elementary school, man. I loved cats. I couldn't have them at the house, but that didn't matter. I read countless books on how to take care of cats. When I was in college, I worked at a cat cafe. I knew a lot about cats, so people always seemed surprised when I told them that I didn't have any cats at my place. Now I'm ready! I got a good job that pays well. I don't have to go on business trips! I'm set! I moved to a pet-friendly apartment, so... Now all I gotta do is get some stuff for the pet store! I knew a lot about cats, but everything I knew was from a book, so... I didn't want to get too far ahead of myself. I made sure everything was in order. Sometimes I asked my neighbor for help, and she was more than happy to lend a hand. That kitty litter, we use that at the cat cafe. Is it popular? Yeah, my Lily loves this, and it's pretty cheap too. That's good. I guess I'll get that then. As long as you close the door that leads to the living room, I'm sure it'll be fine. But just in case, you know. I see, thanks! So, have you already decided on a cat? Actually, no. I don't know where to look for one. I thought about going to the pet store, but maybe I should adopt one from the animal shelter. Where did you find your cat? My friend gave her to me when she was born. I see. Tell me all kinds of things. She helped me out big time. But then things started to get busy at work and six months went by. So, how's life with your new cat? Actually, I haven't found one yet. What? But you told me you moved to a pet-friendly apartment. It's been half a year. I know, I know. I've just been busy. Busy? Yeah, I've been working OT a lot lately, and... I don't know. I thought I should wait until things settled down a bit. I want to be able to focus all my energy on my cat, you know? Don't worry. Cats can take care of themselves. You should get one soon. I have a cat at my place and it's so cute! <sighs> I really want a cat. But when I'm at work, it might get lonely. 
I don't know. My cat is always sleeping during the day, so... Hey, Ida! Stop pretending you like cats! You're just saying that to get girls, aren't you? You're not a real cat lover like me! Nekomura-san. I'm not doing this to get with girls. I just genuinely love cats. Then get one already! You've been talking about this for months! You're just saying this to get the attention from the girls. It's not it at all. I've had cats ever since I was a kid, so they're part of my life, you know? You're not a real cat lover. Give it a rest. It's getting annoying. Uh, he's the one pretending to be interested in cats to get with girls, not me. Nekamura-san was always a jerk to me, and now he was giving me all sorts of crap about cats. I didn't like him very much. I wanted a cat so bad. I don't care if I stay single for the rest of my life. I gotta find myself a cat fast. Then when I got home that night, I ran into my neighbor. Lulu, please don't cry. Yui's in the hospital, so she can't come over. Please, it's only for three days. Uh, hey. Ida-san! Hey! Oh, sorry I'm in your way. It's fine. What's going on here? Something came up at work and... Now I gotta go on this business trip for a few days. So I took Lulu to a pet hotel, but she started freaking out. Usually, I ask my sister to come over when I have to leave the house like this, but... She's in the hospital right now, so... I see. It's work, so I gotta go, but I can't just leave her here like this. She seems so nervous, you know? There, there. I'm sure there's something we can do. Yeah. Got any other family members that can help? Or friends? My parents live far away, and I don't have that many friends that can take care of cats. I know some people in this apartment, but I'm not that close. You're like the only one I talk to. Hmm. What? You sure? Yeah, I already have everything I need in my room. And the rooms here all look the same, so... You sure? Yeah, I worked at a cat cafe for years, so I know how to look after cats. But I've never had my own cat, so if you're worried about that, then you don't have to. We can think of something else. No, I trust you. I just don't want to trouble you, that's all. Thank you! Alright then! She started bringing Lulu's stuff over to my house. She lived next door, so it didn't take that much time. Looks like you already have everything you need! Yeah, I got everything but a cat. <laughs> I forgot Lily's kitty litter. Be right back. Okay. Then... How is she? She seems relaxed. I think it's working. You brought most of her stuff here, so maybe that's why. The thing I live next door. much for this. You sure about this? Yeah, 
yeah, no worries. I'll send you pictures of her every day. If something happens, I'll take her to the vet right away, so don't worry. Ida son, thank you. When I started working at my company, I told them I couldn't go on business trips, but I recently got transferred, so. I was thinking about quitting, too. I can't put my work over Lily, you know? She must really love cats. For now, let's see how she does. Tomorrow morning, you can come check on her again, and if she seems fine, you can go on your business trip. Okay. Leaving your pet with someone else, whether it's a neighbor or a pet hotel, it's not an easy thing to do. The next morning, Lulu seemed really relaxed, which was a relief. Yanagi-san left for her business trip as planned. And a few days later, when she came home... Lulu, I'm home! Ida-san, thank you so much for this! And thanks for the pictures, you really helped me out. Sure, here's a record of everything she ate while you were away. She was in a good mood the entire time, so I don't think you have anything to worry about. Thank you so much. Wow. Looks like she likes you. <laughs> yeah. I moved here so I can get my own cat, but I haven't gotten around to that yet. So I really enjoyed this. Thank you. You're so sweet. You're the best. <laughs> Thanks. If you ever need help with Lulu, just ask. We're neighbors, so... We became really close after that. Whenever she went on business trips, I looked after Lulu. Then one day, she took me out to dinner to thank me. I really enjoyed spending time with her and looking after Lulu. Then six months went by. I still didn't have a cat of my own, though. Ah, so cute. It's been a year already. You finally gonna get a cat? I wouldn't if I were you. Nakamura-san? Uh, actually, I'm not getting a cat. Good to know! Riku, which one is better? This one or this one? I think Lulu would like this one better. Alright then. Who's that? Who's your friend? He's a colleague of mine. Hello, I'm Shion Yanagi. I'm Rika's girlfriend. How the hell did you meet her? She's super hot! You pretended to be interested in cats, didn't you? Actually, I already have a cat. It was her cat before, but now we're looking after her together. That's why I stopped looking for a new one. Miku, come on! Lulu is waiting! Yeah! So now, a year later, I had a beautiful girlfriend and a lovely cat. Life was good! We still had our own rooms, but we were thinking about moving in together soon. When I asked her why she agreed to go out with me, she said it was because of Lulu. I know I said I didn't mind being single for the rest of my life if I could get my own cat, but now I have both. Anyways, glad everything worked out. Cats are so adorable. I love them so much. Hope you liked today's video. Share your thoughts in the comments below. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.